how do you choose between two evils? Senator Frederick Matsango. The government recognizes your effort back home. And my presence here today is to ensure that your voices are included in every aspect of our lawmaking effort. The victims were promised compensation. The government also promised to pay for the medical expenses of the survivors. Senator, from every indication, these citizens have been left to dry. What is it that one has to do to get some of these government contracts? I mean, I'm interested. Adele's mom and the rest of the Mondani victims have been thrown out of the hospital where they were receiving treatment. I want to help out. You don't go borrowing money to do philanthropy. Come on. Tell me, how does a business of lawmaking go? We listen to the people. We listen to the government. Then we listen to businesses. And we pass laws that will make life easy and better for everybody. Stella, where is Brenda? I don't know. Siri? Hi, what can I do for you? Will she kiss me? I'm not that kind of personal assistant. In life, you get nothing new. You only trade one thing for another, right? I mean, you chose to hurt the ones that are close to you. Offer some sick notions of morality that only you believe. Trying to do the right thing is my burden. I've always wondered why she went out with you. It didn't make sense. Government is just a reflection of the people. Put any of them in my shoes, they would do the exact same thing. You've done a stupid thing. Why don't you call the police? You can't, huh? Because it's embezzled money. How long have you known him? We're talking about important issues. People are dying and you're here crying about your feelings. Do not make yourself an easy prey for those that want to maintain the appearance of the law. You are just one seamless hypocrite. One of these days you really need to start showing me a little bit of respect, right? I don't owe you any respect. You wronged her. No, he wronged me. Okay? He wronged a lot of people. He wronged a nation, a country. I just hope you didn't do anything to spoil my deal with the senator. What about the roads that have been tough? Don't they still have accidents on them? All traffic signs are like decorations to the people that you're trying to protect. Most of us start out good, but in the quest to be relevant, we become slaves to some status quo that we feel obligated to maintain, even when we are well aware that it is unjust. Cause I'm only here.